EPDM rubber commercial roof. We're going to talk about some materials, some supply and demand, some inflation, some different things and metrics in this video. We don't talk enough about numbers, but first, if you could give it a thumbs up on the way in, I'm currently trying to take shelter behind this uh, HVAC unit here because it's a bit, a bit breezy and windy. Hopefully you can even hear. Yeah, this uh, Croy, nah, it's, it's backwards, York. York, I believe I'm no HVAC guy, but I believe, actually, I have experience with HVAC because of a really bad uh, roof I've seen in the past. And uh, HVAC guys, I'm kidding, it's bad. People hate me because I even bring up HVAC, but anyway, I'll check that video out. I'll link it up here. It's got a quarter million views or something. Anyways, it's windy. We're going to talk about inflation a little bit, material, supply and demand, supply and demand shock, and where we think the prices are going to be going from here on out. What we're going to do is do a quick walk over on some issues with this. I met the property owner here a few days back. I told him to come back, talk a few things until we can get to uh, an actual plan with this roof. So the roof's old. It's like 30 years old. He said he had it done in 92, 91 or so. It's uh, EPDM reinforced rubber. Let's just walk around. Then we'll get into some questions and my thoughts uh, looking for some advice from you guys. By the way, what I'm going to do is not a repair. It's strictly a patch to quit the water from coming in. To quit the water from coming in to get the water to stop coming in until we can go get a plan of action here. So let's just do a quick walk around. Again, I apologize, it's gonna be windy. So we're on a flat roof, uh, low slope, very low slope rubber, as I stated, EPDM. So he was up here just doing some general maintenance and walking around and he noticed some things and put some paint on it. So this doesn't look too crazy right now. It's all still stuck down bonded, but there's a thin layer, this top uh, embossed looking, feeling texture of the rubber is separated from the lower sticky part. I told him it's not a huge deal, it doesn't look like anything is leaking, the wood is solid, we'll probably just cut this, clean it, prime it, put a patch on it. He's more worried about issues like this. There is nothing leaking here. The worst thing I see is the top, whatever thickness of the rubber is actually deteriorated coming off and what you're seeing is the reinforced rubber in between the rubber layer. So that's why he marked it. It's also kind of coming loose down off this edge because over time, Bernoulli law and the wind and the vacuum, the ventry, whatever, it's kind of sucking away. Eventually it'll clear up more. So a question to you guys, if you've done rubber, rubber repair stuff, I'm sure, yes, there is a proper Genflex or a Firestone way, but uh, I don't think I want to really pull this out and cut it out because it does not feel like blackboard or ISO board underneath. It feels like a decking of some sort. We'll talk about that again here in a minute. So my thought was to him is to clean it, prep it, use the appropriate adhesive and put a patch on over this area. Maybe put some batten bar down and then cover tape that just so it's secure and cover this area. This is really only one of like two or three areas, a small isolated area, probably a four foot by four foot area that's causing this. So let me know down below what you think on that and what way to do this. Everything else looks to be pretty daggone good. There was a little screw nail something poking up. I already caulked that real quick. Where I was taking shelter is the biggest issues right here. He noticed there's a soft spot when he walked around up here. You can see, that's why he marked it so he could find it. There's a little puncture right here. It doesn't look like something stuck through from below or above. It looks like it's just starting to deteriorate. You can see some more of the little reinforced fibers starting to show through. I mean, this thing is 30 years old. And water's trickling in here and that's kind of got this soft right here. Typically, if you got a puncture, you just clean, prime, and patch and you're good. But because it's rotten, he's worried about somebody stepping on it, causing more damage, getting hurt, busting through. You do have all these HVAC units up here. So when you get your HVAC guys up here cleaning, work on uh, you know maintenance, clean filters, whatever they may be up here for, busting through. So here's another spot. I noticed these right off the bat. It's just a simple puncture mark into here. Again, typically you clean and prime and patch, but the issue is it's pretty soft. You don't want a guy up here unaware, and he's a bigger guy and step right there, and drop a leg through and bust his shin and, and then you got a big gaping hole. So what I'm going to do today is just use this GSL. It's made for rubber and various things. It's really good right here for EPDM. We're just going to try to work some into the holes and patch anything I can see just absolutely temporary. As I stated, this is not a repair. I'm not even charging the guy for it. We're just going to stop water from coming in because they're calling for rain tomorrow. It's all my get out here and do this for him. What I had recommended after talking to him, because I'm kind of a concerned if somebody's up here and steps through, it's going to do damage. These are in such a close area, is actually cutting this section out, 
replacing the rotten piece of wood. There's no sense in doing a little patch and then two feet doing another patch of wood. We're just going to put a piece of wood in here. My biggest concern was is where is the structural strength of what is holding this decking up because you've got this curb, this box here. I don't know. It, you know this appears to be just so the unit can sit flat. So I don't know if there's a rafter truss or something in and under. It'd kind of be a pain to get under there. But a little trick. Actually, I made this mark here the other day. If you can see it in the shadow there. If you use this little trick I've shown in other videos where you just try to shift your body weight, you can see where it's solid. That's typically where your supporting structure is. It appears that there is one right on the edge out here. So it's not going to be as crazy as I thought it could be on having to get a piece of lumber tucked in there. Worst thing you want is a guy being quick and cheap and cutting this right here, setting a piece of wood down. It's not even supported on anything. It is just flopping. So I think we can do that, removing a section, get in here, and uh, put a patch back on batten bar cover tape make sure it's dry and secure to get some time out of this roof it's not a bad roof not a hard roof we just can't get material for it so let's take shelter right back here in the shade because my skin is baking now the sun high noon it's coming over the york i'm getting hot it's my birthday i want to take off this is my last stop of the day we're gonna go home and enjoy the day enjoy the weekend but i told the guy i would do this we're gonna take care of it for him before you jump down to the comment section and want to say something bad, I told you, this is free. I'm not charging. I know the guy I want to take care of it for him. We want to prevent water from going in right now by sealing it. By the way, link in the description for that stuff if you think you might need it. Um, thumbs up. So supply and demand, we're going to talk about that real quick. Inflation. It's no joke. Inflation is here and it is happening. Recession, though. A recession definition of two uh, quarters of negative GDP. We've already closed one quarter. First quarter of 2022 is negative GDP loss. It's it's not looking good. I've kind of been expecting this because of the money printing has been going on. The quantitative easing they're laying off on. It's going to get real bad. I think it's going to get way worse than it already has. But why am I talking about that in this video? Lumber. Lumber has seen 5x increases. There's a, a video guy, I don't follow him, but I've seen some of his stuff. He goes by the Uneducated Economist. I'll try to find a link to one of his videos and put it down below to a video I just saw the other day. Very good point he brought up. We're going into the building season and people are not buying the lumber like they used to. I feel that people are starting to get tight with their money. I've seen a big slow up in retail jobs. People are getting tight. There's fear, uncertainty, and doubt. What does all this have to do with the markets? and lumber and the cost. Well, supply and demand is a big driver of the prices. During early 2020, when people were staying home, they started doing rehab projects to their home, building decks and everything. Big supply shock. Then places shut down and can't shift it. We're just gonna talk about the supply and demand side of it. If people don't have product to sell, what they do have can typically go up in price. That's why we saw such high prices. This guy deals with purchasing from lumbers, uh, mills and things, and he's seen like the future the futures contract really drop off here recently. So uh, today, it's May 20th, my birthday, he's seeing like uh, the June f uh, futures contracts. Uh, I don't know if they're already out and he's waiting till July, but he's like, man, this is really looking bad. The purchasing is sold off. The contracts, futures are dropping. I'm hoping despite inflation, when the demand is curbed and the supply comes back, it's going to offset the cost or bring the cost down. I feel like that's what we're starting to see and it's going to be a bad year, I believe. But why is it tying to this video? I can't find EPDM rubber right now. I can't find ISO board. Supposedly, rumor is, at least what I've heard, over where they have these tree farms in Taiwan or where, whatever country it is to get the uh, latex, the sap to make the rubber, they were hit hard with a disease. The whole crops are dying off. They don't have the crops they need to sustain the demand we've got. And it takes about seven years to get the new crop up to where it can produce. So that's supposedly the reason. Steel costs, buttons, plates, screws, all the things to put down your insulation board are crazy right now. If you can get them, it's ridiculous. Same with the uh, ISO board, it's ridiculous right now. Is it good to get this right now and pay high price because the demand is, the supply is low, the demand is high? pay a high price. If we were talking, the owner and I, if you just get some time to get, stop the leaking, make sure it's safe and secure, but get a year through this and the supplies come back, are the cost of materials going to come down more than inflation has gone up? Not everything. I mean, I'm not saying diesel and gas and everything is going to come back down crazy food and all these different things, but things that have been hit by four and five X increases like lumber and like a uh, Karnak, Gacko, I mean, those are 
outrageous right now. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you think when people quit buying to prepare for the recession, the supply is gonna come back up and the cost will come down because they're sitting on such a supply? I think that's what's gonna happen. Regardless, I can't get certain materials to do this. So that's the plan. Let me know if you agree down below. I greatly appreciate it. By the way, I know I, you, I sound like every other YouTuber out there asking for a thumbs up, one of these, please. It does really help. The YouTube algorithm is a beast and it is killing a lot of things. There's so much content. If you enjoy the content, if you get any kind of benefit, it's super easy to do. It's very free to do. And I ask you from the bottom of my heart, just give it a thumbs up. Just watching the content. You don't have to subscribe, but I greatly appreciate it if you do. It does help bring the channel up so people can find it because I really do try to share and I'm probably one of the few out there it's not going to fake it till they make it if I don't know some I'm going to ask you guys because I know there's a lot of you that watch I appreciate you watching that give me info when I'm asking for it so if you could let me know your thoughts on those questions down below I'm losing my shade until next time be safe I'm sorry if you couldn't hear until next time see you then